In this video, let's take a look at how to measure UV light. Many of the other sensors we looked at before use I squared C for communicating with the Arduino. This one actually is just a simple analog device. And I chose that for a couple of reasons. Number one, it uses less wires. And number two, I thought it'd be really interesting to look at how we can just read the voltage in on a sensor and get usable data. And that's about all we have to do to hook this up. So let's get it on the breadboard. And I will pick rows one, two, and three. And if you look closely at the sensor, there are little markings. One says positive, and that goes to the positive five volts on the Arduino. Then you have ground on the other side, connects to ground. And in the middle, it says out. And that is our analog voltage out. This sensor converts UV into voltage between zero and five volts. So it works perfectly with an Arduino. So we'll do that into analog zero. And that's all you have to do to wire this up. Now let's take a look at the code. We're going to base it off of a voltage read, but then we're gonna customize it a little bit so we can convert it into a UV index. So we'll start by firing up Arduino. And we'll go to examples, basic, read analog voltage. And if we look through the code very quickly, it describes what's happening here. It's basically reading an analog input on pin zero, which we've already hooked up, and it's going to serially print through the serial monitor what voltage it's reading. And that's interesting, it doesn't give us a UV index, but let's go ahead and upload it, and then we'll modify it. So I need to plug in my Arduino. And these both look great, so let's upload it. We should see this blink a little bit. There we go. And now, if I open up the serial monitor, and I'm getting 0, 0.00 volts. And that is most likely because I'm indoors and there is no UV light in my office. Kind of a good thing. I work under compact fluorescent lighting and they claim to have no UV radiation. Now, one thing to note, you have to look at the manufacturer's specs on these sensors because there's a difference between UVA and UVB and you can't use a UV LED. That's not really what these are used for detecting. This is really for detecting sunlight. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and see how it works. Although today, not very sunny out, but I wanna make sure that I get some kind of voltage out of here. Now, before I do that, let's modify the code a little bit. We'll close the serial monitor and Printing the voltage is nice, but let's make it a little more useful. I'm gonna start by actually copying that. And we'll do serial print, put this in quotes, voltage equals quotes. And now if we upload that, we start getting a little bit nicer formatted data. Now let's convert that to UV index. So if I copy this and paste it down here, and then I add one more serial print, quote, one, two, three, one, two, three, end quote. Now what I'm getting is it's gonna print the voltage, get rid of this line return here, and then it's going to print a space with a vertical bar, and then here we're gonna do UV index. And if you look at the manufacturer's data sheet, you'll see to convert voltage into the UV index, you have to divide it by 0.1. So I can take the voltage here and I can just go divide it by 0.1. And I can get rid of some of this extra here. Let's verify it really quick. All right, and let's upload it and it's done uploading. And now you can see I'm getting the voltage and the UV index. Now, like I said, I probably have no UV light in here and unfortunately I don't have a pet lizard or turtle or something where I'd have a nice UV bulb that I could demo this. So what I'm gonna do is leave the screen recording going and let's go take my laptop and Arduino outside and see if this 
changes at all. Okay, I'm gonna unplug my laptop. My Arduino will keep running and I'll leave the screen recording going so that you can see it when I go outside and hopefully we'll get a little bit of voltage. Now you see I'm outside and that voltage is going up and the UV index right now is just about 1.32 and that's because it's cloudy outside today. And now I'll go back inside. You see it drop down to zero. And it works. So that's how easy it is to use an analog sensor with Arduino with some built-in code making slight modifications to get reliable data out of a very affordable little UV sensor.